Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? We are back, back, back here again to do another reaction and review and action. What's going on, my creep freaks, my horror heads, and hellions of horror? All of my Lock family members, what's going on, Lock family? All potential new Lock family, I hope you all become family. And that is extended to everybody that may be watching the same. Welcome and welcome back to Horror House at the Movies with host Father Lock. The Stream Extreme Edition brought to you by Father Lock's Horror House. And speaking of the Stream Extreme, I will be running the program by way of Stream Extreme right now for the meantime. But we will be back very soon into the virtual theater to do our reactions and reviews. And before I get into the reaction review, let me take the time out to formally welcome our new family member, you all. Our Lockman brother, Lockman Daniel. Thank you and welcome to the family. It's such an honor to have your subscription and have you be a part of the family. And as you all can see by way of the title of the video and what's on the screen, we're here to do a reaction and review to the official trailer 2 to The Exorcist Believer that is now coming to us October 6th of 2023 instead of October 13th of 2023. Yes, they are bringing it to us a whole week earlier and I am so here for it. So now let's take the time out to hop into this official trailer review to see if they go a little bit in depth into the film to give us a little bit more to expect. So let's check it out you all and see what we are to expect. And action. Talking about scared. consuming the word of God. We've met before. <laughs> Are you looking for Reagan? Are you looking for Reagan? Oh, he runs in hell! Oh, Reagan's gone! Okay. What do you think evil is? I'll tell you what I think it is. We're born in this world with hope and dreams and a desire to be happy. Dad? Oh, something's going on with my daughter. No! No! It's happening to my daughter, too. The devil has one wish. Wherever those girls went, they brought something back with them. <laughs> to make us lose faith. But I believe you can help get our daughters back. To kill it in us. And the Ooh. devil never gives up. No, he does not. She knows who I am. Where's the other girl? Mm. What you're doing here is dangerous. People have died on both sides of possession. Come on, baby. Come back to us, okay? <laughs> If you don't make it, I don't make it. Mama! What is it, baby? I can't, oh, I can't see you. Baby, I'm right here. I don't want to go to hell. God, play that trick on you. <laughs> there are two heartbeats. Is it working? They're beating in sync. Be strong. Mama! What did you do? One girl lives, one girl dies. You get to choose. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Creep freaks, horror heads, and my hellions of horror. And everybody that's watching. Okay. First things first. I love the second trailer. Trailer 2, good for you. Thumbs up to the second trailer. I am so loving the second trailer. Now let me go into my review. One thing I am liking is now seeing them show a little bit of neighborhoods. I'm liking the fact 
that the neighborhoods look like a regular neighborhood. It looks like some place you could live, I can live. It don't look all creepy like some place in Salem or Transylvania or look like something evil should be lurking in this place. And that's exactly what the original creators of the original, William Peter Blatty and William Freakin, God bless the dead to both of those legends, both of them are gone. And that's exactly what they wanted to steer away from. Because if you, in, in their opinion, and my opinion, the same, if you do that, you tend to make it look like, of course, something would be living there. Look what it looks like. Look where you all are at. Of course, there's a demon there, you know, but just to have a regular, all-American looking neighborhood, boy next door, girl next door, family-oriented neighborhood, is the last thing you would think could be happening here. So I'm liking that they did that opposed to some, you know, when someone takes up uh, someone else's franchise, a new direction to a franchise, they still clean to the very thing that the original uh, creator steered clear from. So I'm glad that they didn't do that. They didn't go in that direction. They kept it clean cut, very new age. Like this is right here, right now in this day and age. I'm loving that. The another thing that I'm liking the fact of the acting of these little girls who's playing Captain and Angela. They're making me get invested just by the trailers. I'm invested in these little girls. I want to see what's going on. Why are they possessed? Do they possession have something to do with Reagan? Or something to do with the demon that possessed Reagan? Because in the first trailer you see one of the girls are carving Reagan's name in what looked like a chalkboard, a blackboard. And here, the demon taunting Chris, asking her, are you looking for Reagan? She burns in hell. It's like, how does this demon know Reagan, know who Chris is? Because you see her telling the father as they're looking in on Angela through by the glass in the uh, hospital, she knows who I am. Where's the other girl? Another thing that's concerning me. Now I'm going into my concerns. Did Reagan die, you all, and we don't know? That she died? Okay, because I am taking into initiative that the original film came out 50 years ago. And now the updated sequel is 50 years later. This is 50 years later, you all. And that would mean Reagan would be in her 60s. If she's still alive. Me just going into what I'm thinking. And, of course, we're just going to say it in the real. The, the actress, Linda Blair, of course, and along with the character, Reagan, would be in her 60s. And, of course, Ellen Burstyn, playing Chris McNeil, is now in her 80s. So, along the way, did Reagan die? And we don't know this? And another thing that drew my attention, you all, what I'm trying to figure out is, um, that, that I'm, I'm thinking of, is going back to my, um, <clears throat> Thoughts in the original Trailer 1 review, are they piggybacking from the TV series? Like mentioning before, in the TV series, Reagan and Chris don't have a relationship due to Chris uh, writing this book about Reagan's possession and what she went through and so forth. And she totally just not happy with Reagan, totally despises her for doing this. They don't have any type of communication whatsoever. And I'm wondering, I, you know, could this be why? Or could it just be this is what demons do? They taught you. They try to mix lies with the truth. They try to do what they can do to, to you know, cripple you and, 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 and break your will and bring you down. So could that be why it's saying this to her? But when, oh my God, when it said it, you all, just let me just say, I think I thought, wait, you can die because it made me the original when the demon was talking to Father Carrier, and he said, you know, your mother's in here with us, would you like to leave the message? Knowing that his mother was dead, and now asking Chris, are you looking for Reagan? She burns in hell, made me think that she died, you know, whatever have you. Another thing that I'm definitely liking that they went into, they are taking you further into this synchronized possession game. And by way of showing the different girls from the first trailer to this one, hearing the different voices, could this be a multitude of demons? Now hearing the different voices 
opposed to what we heard in the first trailer and now hearing, you know, seeing that same scene, but now hearing a different voice. Are there multiple demons or same demon who just got this dangerous voice, you know, by being a demonic uh, entity with these type of abilities? Is that what? However, we will find out now that it is coming to us a week earlier, and I am so here for it. I cannot wait, and I all I run into the theaters as soon as it comes out, as I will be doing the same. All right, you all, that brings this reaction video to an end. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate each and every last one of you. Thank you again, Lockman Daniel, for joining. Please, it is such an honor your subscription. And until we are here wall and Lockfield and join each other as a family, doing a reaction and a review to whatever it is we are doing in a reaction to a review too. Be sure to stay safe out there and everyone else that may not be family, please become family. I would love to have you for family. Please subscribe and hit your notification bell. And I will see you all when we are here again and join each other in our field community. Always remember and always know that I love y'all. Back family, cut. That is a wrap. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>